Welcome to the Grammarian's Dex. So I took this one off the classroom because I need you to introduce you to what a communication really is all about. That's why no board, no marker, no chalk because I need to introduce this. Some of my followers online have been asking this question. Does it really mean that communication is ineffective because of the grammatical errors that people make? The, 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 the truth is communication is effective only when the encoder encodes and the decoder is able to decode what the encoder is, is encoding. So the encoding and decoding is what shows how effective the communication is, not the grammatical fitness. But we are insisting that grammar should be used in the right way. Even pronunciation should be, should be done in the right way because communication is, is effective when pronunciation mixes semantic and semantics also meets with the syntax. Now watch this. If I say say L-O-C-A-L-E, that would be local. When I say L-O-C-A-L, that would be local. So if I pronounce local as local, you see the meaning will be different. Now, if the meaning is not well captured by the pronunciation, it will lead to making another different meaning. I've heard some people see words that are stressed in the ending part of their letters swallowed. If, for instance, sinek ducky, people pronouncing sinek ducky as sinek duck, hyperbole as hyperbole, seemingly as simile. Now, when when you do not get the pronunciation of that word right, that is in spoken English, you will discover that the meaning of what you want to pass may be entirely different. Although we have diagraphs, we have clipped words, we have blended words, we have words that may seem to be homographs and words that may seem to be to be homonyms, we may have words that may seem to be synonymous, that doesn't mean that there is any English, two English words that tend to mean exactly the same thing. So in the effective part of communication, we are only saying as grammarian that the the pronunciation, the semantic, that's the meaning of the inferred word must always be made known so that we do not take what is not fitting as though it is fitting. So communication is effective when I understand what you are saying in my own parlance because people tend to also use their jargon. This brings me to this. Jargon is not a wrong grammar, but it's a kind of terminology or term used in a given profession, in a given vocation, in a given field of life. It doesn't mean that you are speaking on English or correct or making correct, incorrect expression. So jargons are not wrong English. They are not like pigeon or broken. Okay, that brings me to the explanation of pigeon and broken. Broken English is a form of English that is grammatically unfit. I am seeing you coming in, in. A thing like that is broken. But when we say pidgin, we mean the just opposition or putting together of two major languages just to make one simple meaning. For instance, the Portuguese say saber, and saber means to know. So when I say do you sabi what I'm talking about, I've brought in English and I've also just opposed it with Portuguese. What I have just done is to speak pidgin. So all these classes of English language, the pidgin, the broken, and also the, the jargon, it doesn't really mean you are wrong in effectiveness, but we are just insisting that the right usage of words must always be applied for communication to be effective. Everybody may not be a grammarian. Everybody may not be linguist. Okay, that brings me to ling linguistics. Linguistics is not talking about the phonetic transcription of words, but they are only concerned about the origin of words and how they can be usefully applied in every given environment. That is why when we have words like koinonia, you would know that that word has a German origin. When we have words like supreme, you would know that such words have a Latin, Latin origin because supreme is coming from a Latin word sopranos, quantum, quantity, and other examples which you will see in the next video. So communication is only effective when I can understand what you, I can understand or decipher what you are saying. It doesn't really mean that uh, uh, the fitness of the grammar comes into play. But as grammarians are, or, or as people that use English language in our everyday life, it will be necessary that we ensure that we use the right form of semantic, the right form of syntax, the right form of analytical juxtaposition in our everyday communication. Thank you. If this is really, really helpful, please make sure you 
you click the button below and subscribe.